Well, for weeks now, thousands of students nationwide have had to ditch regular classroom sessions and soak up virtual learning instead. Our Charles Fisher takes a look. That one-on-one -on -one interaction with the teacher suspended on the computer the teacher at this moment. Virtual learning for most students is the only thing. After a little more than two months with no school, eight-year-old grade four student at Yellow Elder Primary, Leandra Burroughs, was eager to get started. It made me very happy. First I saw it, and then I started doing some work, and then more, then a little greater to the next. And then when I finished it, it reminds me of school. Her older brother, Leroy, also having to make the computer his teacher. I like that they try to make the website for children. And yes, it is working for some children. Now, there are some pros and cons with the system. So the internet sometimes is off and sometimes the computer is freaking out. Then we're going to have to cut off it, cut off all the internet and cut it back on. Then it will start working again. I think it can be approved by making it easier for children so they can actually do the work and send it to the teachers. It's just so complicated, so much things left to right that you have to try to do and you don't know how to get there in order to do the work. That interaction with fellow students is surely missing. We're at a classroom. Because virtual is just very hard. It's like you need internet. Acting principal at Carlton e. Francis Primary School, L.V. Cunningham, says yes, the faculty misses the students as well. We have been meeting with our children online, and some of our teachers are having the Zoom classes. And the children are so excited to see their teachers. They are excited because they want to come back to school. I think they've been home long, at home long enough, and so they want to come back. For ZNS Network News, I'm Charles Fisher.